Shining Wild Ones, it's Bernadette. I am here with your Pick a Card Daily Tarot Reading for Sunday, October 25th. And I got ants in my pants over this card because see if you can see, see if you can tell which card this is. Boogie! Boogie Wonderland! Dance! Dance! Yes, it's Happy Feet! The Three of Cups Penguin from the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck is here to get you up boogieing on this Sunday, doing your thing, dancing your dance movement is life, and we've got celebrating to do. This card is all about the celebrate, celebrate, dance to the music. Yes, you should turn up whatever music you love, open your windows if you're not in blizzard land, and just do your thing today. Normally, um, Sundays are kind of a day of quiet reflection, or they can be. Now this Sunday, this Sunday, you are called to get some pep in your step. Get it. And the other thing, um, before I go into all the traditional meanings of um, the Rider Waite version of the Three of Cups and then, you know, talk to you guys about what Penguin adds to it, something I want to say um, really quickly this morning, I got a lot of questions about it last week, and that is people wonder why I add meanings to the Rider Waite card or any of the Animal Allies cards that they don't normally see other places. Well, that's because over the years, the cards have taken on, uh, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll find this over time as you use your cards, and you may already know it now, but you'll establish a very uh, specific relationship with your cards and with the particular archetypes of the Rider Waite deck or the Lenormand or whatever you use. And certainly I have with the, um, uh, with the animal allies over the years. So every time Bernadette sees this, car this card comes out in a reading, my butt starts to move in my chair and all I can hear, like <clears throat> all of my favorite Nance songs. And the one that I love, you know, the most that obviously has to do with this is the movie Happy Feet. And, oh, Robin Williams gone too soon. Na, 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 na. You know, and he sings that great, oh, I love it. Anyway, if I wouldn't get busted for copyright infringement, I'd play one of those songs for y'all this morning, but you'll find it. Or whatever dance music you love, and it is all about the movement today, and here is why. When the, um, when the Three of Cups card comes a-calling, that's it. It's Mercury and Cancer. The Kabbalists call it the Lord of Abundance. It is about... All that water energy pouring, I mean, take a look at them, y'all, all that water pouring abundance and, you know, with your dancing with your soul group and it's, and look at the pumpkins, which is leading to Halloween and the harvest time and all the orange in the card and, um, you know, letting you know it's just time to have fun, just time. You know, the oranges, I'm from Florida, right? Oranges are a huge symbol to this Florida girl because that was a lot of where a lot of money came from, you know, in the early days in Florida. And so, but through really through all cultures, oranges do symbolize abundance and good times and um, just great harvests of everything. It's fertility, it's ecstasy, it's just pure unbridled joy. And you know that song, I Hope You Dance? I love that song for this card because, oh, for this card, because... I find that so many people are inhibited, um, even in their own homes. Um, certainly when they go out in public, they don't want to talk too loud. They don't want to laugh too loud. They don't want to dance too much. They don't want to do this too much. What What is too much? Like, what is too much? If you're just enjoying yourself and you're in the ecstasy of the moment, could there be any more divine channel than you at that moment in your life? No, I don't think so. And animals don't bother with that kind of craziness. If they feel like sliding down a ice polar ice cap, they do. If they feel like diving under the water, they do. If they feel like putting their tap shoes on and singing Boogie Wonderland, they do. That's what animals do. And so today, um, when sun is the ruling planet of a Sunday and your crown chakra is the ruling chakra, Man, it's a good day to just blow it wide open. Whatever junk you got stuck in your trunk, whatever just has been weighing you down, maybe you, maybe it's not even all that. You just got a little cobwebby cobwebbies. Get them out of there. It is time to be a clear channel, an open vessel, 
because something is coming. If it's not already there today, then it's coming. And it's coming super, super, super soon. <clears throat> Just very quickly also taking a look at the traditional tarot card meanings of the Three of Cups. If you take a look at the woman on the right in the Three of Cups, she's crowned with grape leaves. She's got a grape cluster. There's more grapes close to the, you know, close to the pumpkin. And all of that, again, it's about spiritual transformation, unhibited joy, because, you know, like in the Lucy episode, grapes lead to wine, ladies and gentlemen, grapes lead to wine. And so they kind of also, um, as, as Mr. Arthur E. Waite puts it, it kind of seems like those three women are pledging each other, adding dimensions to close friendship that doesn't really appear to be a leader in this trio, and the friendship is on a completely equal footing. And to some other people, it really um, represents the aspects of the goddess, mother, maiden, crone, right? It can be any of those things that you want, but there will be something about relationships today, friend relationships, and that can be within your own family. I mean, certainly my sister's my BFF, right? So, um, and then I have, you know, a couple other BFFs. One is not like the other. And what does it matter? They're my BFFs. So I am, um, my hair's sticking out crazy all over the place, y'all. Um, but I had to wear the hat because it reminded me of Boogie Wonderland. So there's something about moving forward. And I don't think it has just to do with today when I can feel my heart, um, like literally physically stretch out over a week. I, I literally feel the energy move from my heart space and just keep traveling, traveling through the week. I think it has to do with this whole week where you'll have um, celebrations that will be much greater than you thought they were going to be. They'll feel much better than you thought. You're going to solidify and strengthen and deepen friendships you never thought. Just be open to all of it. And for some, I understand that I said at the beginning, look, your cards will come to mean certain things to you so that every time you pull them, you know that that element is somewhat part of that person's reading, right? Even if you're reading for yourself, but man, I can't, I can't stop moving. And, and I, I, that's not just because of what this card means to me. I, it's, it's a message. It's, it's a, there's something about movement. You guys got to get up, do it, move, do the Macarena. I don't care what you do, but you just got to move. And it's got to be with music. I can't shake hearing the music over and over and over and over in my head. So um, it, it's really especially good news when it comes to career and finance matters. Um, and again, those lifelong friendships, don't discount, you know, maybe you meet somebody in a coffee house or whatever, and y'all just happen to end up talking and you walk away going, I kind of feel a little weird and stalkerish because I feel like I really want to be good friends with that person. It's not you, it's the energy surrounding that meeting. And you guys could have been together as deep friends or family or whatever in other lifetimes. And you just made an agreement to meet over, you know, pumpkin spice lattes, who knows, but don't discount it. If it makes you feel that good, don't discount it. So um, let's talk just a little bit about penguins. Um, you know, certainly they're like all other black and white animals. Anytime you see an, any really two-tone animal, it's all about balance. It's all about the yin and the yang, the marrying of the as above, so below, masculine, feminine. And you're like, well, okay, if I'm supposed to have this blowout celebratory thing, that's a little indulgent, right? Why do you think that? Why, why, why blowing it out? Why does that strike you as indulgent? Maybe you need to blow it out because you spent so much time conforming. Maybe you spent so much time hiding your light under a bushel that you need to put on a soundtrack that you love. And, you know, why don't, if, if you clog, if you do ballet, if you do jazz, if you don't dance at all, if you just, um, you know, if you just move around to some YouTube videos that you love, or, you know, what's that thing everybody's doing now, the, the S thing they're doing with their getting their midsections, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It just matters that you move and music, whatever music stimulates you is part of the component. Now, penguins are, uh, you know, they're adorable. But one of the things people don't really know about penguins, and I'm talking about emperor penguins in particular, because that's who wanted to be on the card. 
Y'all, the males, they're like as big as six-year-olds. They're big birds. They really, really are big birds. And so that's also a call to me when I see this card come up for somebody's reading. I'm like, some big's coming. Some You're going to have some reason to celebrate big time. Or you may already be planning a big celebration. Like, let's say it's an anniversary or somebody's birthday or whatever. And maybe you're not planning big enough. Maybe there's something about that that you will be so grateful after the fact that you made it a, uh, in some ways, an all or nothing kind of thing. I don't know what that's going to mean for you, but I just keep seeing the animal allies are sending me a, um, it's the scene of a family party. And when you think, well, you know, we've already got a lot of people coming. It doesn't matter. There's always room for five or 10 more. And maybe you think, well, instead of getting the most expensive cheese we would normally get, um, since we've got so many people coming, maybe we'll go down a couple of notches and not, you know, let's say, especially if you're celebrating someone, because that's what I feel. And you're like, well, maybe we'll just save a little bit of money and just do a couple steps down of the cheese. Don't do that. Get whatever cheese you can afford and make it as, as fabulous and as decadent and as just wonderful because you know what? You deserve that. And the people at the party deserve that. There's no reason we have to keep playing small, playing small, um, not celebrating to the umpteenth, you know, whatever that we can, right? And I understand, and I believe me, y'all, I understand trying to save a dollar here or there. Trust me, this I know. But there comes a time where it's not serving your purpose any longer. And right now is that time. So as you move forward planning whatever this is, just be sure that you do whatever the most is that you can do. Don't go buck wild and, you know, put your house, a mortgage a house for, you know, graduation party or retirement party or whatever. But, um, but do, the, do the most that you can, not the best that you can. You're already doing the best that you can. Do the most that you can, and there will come a day shortly you'll be so grateful that you did. Okay, so the other thing to remember is, um, especially y'all that live in those frozen tundras up north, now it ain't great here in Florida right now. It's, uh, you know, it's October, and it's like a sauna outside, and it's miserable, and it's muggy, and I'm like, Lord, I live in a swamp. Um, but neither would I want to live in the Antarctic either, <clears throat> which brings me to the group thing. So you probably already know this, but um, penguins stay warm. I mean, they can, the, the, the cold environments that they can make it through are unbelievable, but they do like to stay warm. And so if you've ever seen, and you can see them from space, when, when, all, of the, um, when all of the penguins huddle together, they, they form such a large mass, it can be seen from space. And they rotate in this mass so that you know, the outside penguins are a little bit cooler than the inside penguins, and they just keep rotating and rotating, so everybody's got a chance to stay warm, so everybody's got a chance to protect and serve. And that's going to be also really important for you, because this card, again, is about celebration in your soul groups. You are not a soul group. No person is a soul group island. You've got to have help from other people. There will be things they will bring to your life. They will, there will be things that you will bring to their life. And today is a day for you to know that. Even if you've got it all put together, maybe you, you know, if you're like me, like triple type A, done, is this done? Check. That was done three weeks ago. Is this done? That was done five weeks ago. Check, 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 check. Okay. But that can make other people feel unwanted and useless and like you don't trust them. Don't do that. Even if you want to chew thumbtacks at the way somebody's laying out the romaine on a dish and, and they didn't see that one little brown spot, and you're like, ooh, ooh, get, ah! leave the brown spot on the romaine. As long as it's not slimy or it's a critter, let it be. And they will feel so good and they will feel so warm inside. And that is something you're greatly called to do with the Three of uh, Cups being the Penguin, is to take care of the people who might be feeling a little left out in the cold right now. Bring them in and warm them up and try to try to ramp down your OCD. I know I do. So it, it, it doesn't hardly work, but I'm just letting you all know. I do know the struggle is real. Okay. 
So um, one other thing, uh, let's just go into, you know, um, uh, penguins and spirit tongue and power animals. You know, anytime we see land animals and really large and and large large masses of land animals, it's a lot of call about the ecology. Now, just like I don't talk about politics, I don't talk about global warming, and I don't talk about those kinds of things. But there's something about the element of water. There's something about the polar thing that and they're just such humongous groups of animals. But you know, they multiply and multiply and multiply and they never harm the environment. So there's something to think about. Maybe maybe this celebration is as simple as you getting a group of friends together and y'all going and picking up waste somewhere or litter or whatever it is. I mean, my gosh, that sounds like a great day to me. Um, it sounds like a fun day and something sacred that you can do you know, with your dearest friends or, you know, your people that will become your dearest friends. It, it can be anything. But if Penguin keeps appearing to you, there's something about the earth that you are being called to celebrate and to be a part of and to have some responsibility for. Penguins are, you know, they don't mean anybody any harm. Honest to goodness, y'all. They're just really inquisitive, sweet creatures that just, you know, they waddle to and fro, they eat their fish, they raise their young, and that's it. They're just, you know, that's them. And if you, if, if, if Penguin is your totem, you are just the most well-intentioned person, just such a lovely person at your heart, and always looking out for your soul group, always looking out for your tribe. You are a beautiful person, and we honor you. I honor you. All right, the, um, the, the thing going back to balance, see, I, I, I don't like to use this word really a lot because, you know, what's fair, like what's fairness really, but penguins do their level best to make sure that everybody has, they do their level best to make sure everybody survives. They do their level best to make sure that things are fair for all. And sometimes we don't really know what that means. We don't, we don't know what fair means for one person or to another person. And there's really not necessarily any right or wrong in that, but your intentions do matter. And so as you move forward, if you feel like maybe you want people to treat you more fairly or to see you, um, or you have the courage to communicate with them about what would be more fair to you, or you get to thinking, you know, oh, I said that, I did that, I uh, wasn't really fair. Um, I did a thing last week. I think I, if y'all watched the video, I told you at public, some old boy, I, I just allowed him to torque me. And I just said, Ugh, you know, instead of being ugly, I took ugly to a whole new thing. And I was like, you know, I don't know how long I have to live. And so, yes, I'm going to eat everything I want. That guy turned white as a ghost. And I know he'll be back in public again one day. I've seen him there before. And I'm just going to have to eat crow and tell him, um, you know, I'm sorry for for blowing his mind like that. And I'm also going to say, but you need to be telling, you don't need to be reminding any woman or anybody about what you think they should eat or they should not eat. Anyway, long story short, <clears throat> um, it is, uh, I don't think I treated him fairly because I have no idea what he was going through at that moment. And you know what? It could be just completely different than what I thought. Maybe his wife or the love of his life was a healthy girl like me, um, a big girl like me. And maybe he was just saying that out of spite and pain because maybe she did pass away or maybe she left him or, you know, whatever. And he just can't, he, he, he can't, he can't handle it. And so he's triggered by thick women or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about that man's story, but that old Scorpio tail came up because of my old wounds. And I said, watch. And uh, man, I regret it. I do. It didn't even take me till next week to regret it. But th the reason I go into all of that is there was a fairness component to that that I really, really thought about. Was it fair this? Was it fair that? And at the end of the day, what I decided for myself was, I, w I don't think I was fair because in that moment, I didn't take into consideration all of these other things that it could be reasons, it could be whatever. I just went into whoosh mode and that was that. 
and snatched my bear claws and checked out and went home and shoved a bear claw in my face, um, which I regretted later. They weren't they weren't all that great. So it is time to celebrate. It is time to move in your soul groups. It is time to dance the Boogie Wonderland dance. And even, you know what, don't even consider all the serious stuff today, the balance and the fairness and the this and the that. Wait till later in the week. And today, just turn your music on, get your feet moving and grooving. I hope you dance. I also hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope that you, also hope that you get your copy of the Ark Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. But all of those things said, what's the most important thing on this beautiful Sunday and every day? To stay wild.